I can't believe you've accused us of this, David. You've accused us of being gross, sexist, and of trying to defraud a client of his money. What kind of people do you think we are? Uh, builders. <laughs> oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, but it weren't me, though. Nor me. I wouldn't ever phone those numbers, wouldn't you? No, I'd phone 09098798 Enema. <laughs> it's the Rolls Royce of specialised fetish lines. Mike? Not me, Dave. I've got no genitals. <laughs> Could you run that past me again? <laughs> genitals, Dave. Haven't got them. Industrial accident, 1987. Oh. I'm sorry. You're sorry. <laughs> no, honestly, forget it. I can't forget it. That terrible day, the staple gun, the cement mixer, the circular saw. OK, Mike. <laughs> OK. The fact is, David, that as members of the Confederation of Master Builders, we're united on this. We're sticking together until we're cleared. Absolutely. Right. All right. But the way Mr Deronda's talking, unless we catch the culprit, no one's going to get paid. It was him. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure of it. He said he was tired this morning. Oh, right. I'm not the one who takes a daily supplement of zinc tablets. <laughs> They're multivitamins. What about him? I've got no genitals. <laughs> My dog neutered, but he still humps my leg. He doesn't pull in sex lanes, though, what? Nigella, I wanted to ask you about some of the things in here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's morning. Oh. oh. You fell oh. back to sleep again. Oh. oh, man, I just had a nightmare. Oh, oh I'm fine now. S stupid. Oh, I guess I'm just kind of nervous at the moment. Oh, I know what you mean. Anyway, I've got to go to work. You'll be all right here on your own, won't you? Uh, oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> so how's the psychological profile going? Well, judging from what I've just heard, the man we're looking for has a big one, an ability to turn on 16-year-old schoolgirls just by listening to them on the phone, and is very, very naughty. <laughs> A completely useless exercise, then? Not exactly. Call us to this number on Saturday night after 2am. We'll hear the special XXX-rated stuff that normally never gets past the censor. So, just... Exactly the same bollocks as usual. <laughs> Obviously. But I think our guy might still fall for it. I think we should be there on Saturday night. Do you mean, like, a stakeout? With, like, us in the car with, like, styrofoam cups and donuts, And, like, one of us says, how much longer we got to be here, Petrocelli? And he says... <laughs> long as it takes. <laughs> Hello. Who? Dean? <laughs> yeah, I am honoured. I don't know if it's the sort of thing that would only happen in my wildest dreams. <laughs> Some dreams, certainly. <laughs> Tonight? <laughs> no, uh, damn, bugger. Would you believe it? My parents are coming round. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're thinking. And that's when the guy Met his hero. That was lovely, Dean. Oh, I don't know. I think I'd prefer Dory Previn. <laughs> Hi, Ethan. I wasn't expecting you. Uh, no. Can I offer you a drink? Only I've just made some home brew. Uh, <laughs> no. That's OK. Oh, are you sure? Uh, listen, Nigella, this is kind of difficult. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Why? Well, 
I don't know. It's just not working out. It's probably me, not you. Stop the cliches. Just tell me the truth. It's because you're a man. <laughs> Hot. You're a man, aren't you? I mean, like, you've had an early life thinking you were born in the wrong body, and then extensive psychotherapy, which, like, failed, and then two years of hormone treatment followed by a horrific operation where you had your old geezer turned inside out and put back up. What? No, I haven't. But what about the pants? What pants? Uh, the ones <laughs> someone told me were in your drawer. Um, they're like these great big testicle cradling Y fronts. <sighs> Those are my ex boyfriends. I just haven't gotten round to throwing them out. Well, well, what about the not having sex? Oh, God. Is this what this is all about? Uh, yes. <laughs> For Christ's sake, Ethan, if it matters that much to you, let's have sex. Really? <laughs> it's okay? Like, it'll fit? <laughs> hey, guys. I got all the stuff we need for the steak out. Donuts, styrofoam cups, <laughs> and most important of all, a big brown paper bag to put it all in. What are you doing, watching CFAX? Yeah, showbiz news, 566, look. Something else terrible has happened to that black bloke from different strokes. <laughs> oh, and uh, flashing on and off at the bottom, phone poll. Vote now for your favorite singer-songwriter of all time. Here's a phone line you should check out, Ethan. My life amongst the she-boys of Penang. <laughs> That's all over now. Turns out, Nigella is all woman. I have, like, docked with the mother ship. <laughs> My hard drive is connected to her laptop, and I have downloaded. <laughs> I have plugged myself, like, in. But are you absolutely sure it wasn't through some sort of adapter? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. What have you got there? I'll tell you what I've got here. The entire canon of Dean Friedman's oeuvre. <laughs> Dean. A taste of Dean. Piper at the gates of Dean. Who? Deanie. <laughs> Why have you got all these? Because he's coming round later. He said he wanted to see what his greatest fan's house looked like. Oh. Oh, I've had to buy this as well. <laughs> and this. Test me on it. Go on. Oh, um, OK. Uh... Right, so, everybody told me that having an afro and a moustache would never work. But then... I met Fatima Whitbread. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everybody, why are we pandering to Dean Friedman? Why don't we just tell him that we aren't his fans, that we just went to his gig ironically? Hi, guys. Droza. <laughs> Dean! Dean! <laughs> so great to see you again. Hey, so great to see you again. That's a line from... My Love Is Back, fourth album, third track. <laughs> I love this guy. So what were you saying, Dave, about going to see someone's gig ironically? I love all that inverted comma stuff. Like last week, I went to see Dan Fogelberg, and I was cheering like I really was a big fan of Dan Fogelberg's. Hey, he probably saw me and thought I actually was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that? On CFAX? Yeah, can you believe it? Hit by a truck. And he was already having to work as a security guard. <laughs> no, not that. At the bottom. Vote for your favorite singer-songwriter of all time. Hey, guys, get dialing. Right, OK. David, you are eating bamboo and refusing to mate. I beg your pardon? <laughs> you are pandering. <laughs> Listen, we're not going to vote for you in the phone poll. Why not? You're my biggest fans. No. No, we're not. We just went to your gig ironically. Oh, all right. But it is a grey area now, that. Culturally, I mean, like, people who go to see Bjorn again, are they being ironic? Or do they really like ABBA? Yeah, you're right, Dean. It is a gray area. With ABBA. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, Dave, Ethan, maybe you're not fans, but, but Ava is. No, I'm not. I'm actually a really big fan of Dan Fogelberg. <laughs> Sometimes when we touch, the honesty's too much. That's Dan Hill. Is it? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. You're not either, but, but Peter definitely is. Aren't you, Pete? I mean, all these days we spent together going through old programs. Your huge collection of Diniana? Well, yes. Actually, I, I, I have come rather to like sup some of the early Pete. Days. Well, yes, it's shite. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dean. Tomorrow we were going to go to the zoo. Yes, I, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Leave it, Pete. It's not worth it. No, I was just going to sit down here, actually. Right. <laughs> Jeez, what are these, cinnamon? Shh. <laughs> shh, you two, shh, shh. Shh, what are you singing? Woman of Mine by Dean Friedman. Oh, it's lovely. It's so haunting. Mm. I've been humming Well, Well, said the rocking chair all day. Mm. Perhaps you were too quick to judge. Was it not our Lord Jesus who said, Judge not, Dean Friedman? <laughs> yes, thou fast that some songs which thou hadst thought to be naff are actually not bad. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Maybe we were a bit harsh. Mm. Hey, someone's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's Dean. But what's he doing? I know what he's doing. He is dialing the phone pole. He will phone and vote over and over again until he wins and CFAX will be none the wiser. What should we do? Dean, drop the phone. <laughs> David, what are you doing here? This house belongs to one of my clients. Listen, Dean, we know what you're doing and you don't have to. We've changed our minds. We'll phone the CFAX phone pole and register our vote for you. Dean Friedman, the best singer-songwriter of all time. Yeah. yeah! How dare you? How dare you think that I would sneak in here and undermine the credibility of CFAX? What kind of man do you think I am? No, I've been listening to My Life Among the She-Boys of Penang. It's great. I've been coming in here every night for weeks. Listen. So the operation was a great success, and everything the surgeon gave me was actually usable. <laughs> Nigella? <laughs> so, how did you feel about seeing your hero in such a position? He's not my hero. Well, is Mr. Deronda still buying the house? Yes, actually. Turns out he is a massive fan of Dean Friedman's. <laughs> really? What did he say when you told him about what Dean had been doing? He said, let's leave that room as bare floorboards <laughs> and don't stain them any more than they are already. Yes, yes, I see. Because I'm a rich man's friend.